Similarly, there is a fire wash. This fire wash, we call it klesha nashana kriya. That means a, an act which will take away the impurities that gather around you. We are inclusive uh, not by choice, we are inclusive by the nature of our existence. We have been always trying to produce good human beings, which is a terrible mistake. We need more joyful and sensible human beings. From Siachen to now the Andamans, which next corner of the world are you going to take yoga to? Siachen to Andaman is because it's the same forces. And as you know, this is the only place where the Triforce command is there. I feel uh, these men and women who are away from their families literally eight to ten months in a year in service of the nation, it's not just being away from the families, a certain level of hardship, risk, constantly a job where uh, you may not come home, it's not a simple thing. For them I feel the many dimensions of yoga are most vital. This is why I'm trying to bring fo focus on the forces because if we do not offer the best tools we have to them, then uh, how are we a nation? So that's why I see Ashin to Andaman. The journalist yesterday was who was interviewing me, asked Sadhguru, you are not with your yoga family, you're every year, well, year after year you're being with the defense forces, why? So I told her, people who are willing to live and die for you, if they are not your family, who is your family? Just prepare for the day it will happen and it happened and it's for all of us to see even the clouds gave way for the yoga. It was excellent. It was under he was talking about the shape of a ship and uh, if I may use the word, he chose to challenge the people who know the ship and we realized that he knows a lot about it. So that was something uh, really wonderful. Uh, overall, it was a very enriching experience. The Upa Yoga that we did today morning, uh, I think uh, I'll make it, I'll definitely make it a part of my life. Generally, this Disti is a very big thing. Disti tells me that. Daily Snanal Chastar. No, why I'm asking is in Chennai they're having bath once in three days. <laughs> You need to understand, this body is made of fundamentally five elements of earth, water, fire, air and space. This season in our yoga center, because we have a wind tunnel, so at this time all our people are doing sadhana just standing in the wind like this, because this is a wind wash. Water wash you're doing every day, wind wash you can do. People, yogis were always smearing themselves with earth, but today that's become mud bath in the spa, okay? So mud bath is there. Similarly, there is a fire wash. This fire wash, we call it klesha nashana kriya. That means a, a, an act which will take away the impurities that gather around you. Because your body is not just here, your body doesn't stop here it extends itself. Have you noticed, if somebody comes too close, right there itself there is a feeling that, you know, you want some distance. So you gather material on your body, you wash it. Similarly, you are gathering other kinds of material upon your energetic system. You can wash this water with water, certain impurities will go with that. If you wash it with air, certain other things will go. Similarly, there's a fire wash, which you're calling drishti. If you come to the yoga center, we're doing this kleshanasana kriya in a scientific manner, how it should happen. We have relieved people of various chronic ailments just by this fire wash. death of a patient 
we are very moved but gradually as we come across if if and when we do come across more deaths we become very non challenged and unperturbed do you think that uh, do you think this desensitization towards death in the medical profession is compromising our humanity if you're non challenged definitely but being a doctor every dead body you see if you're going to cry then <laughs> that's going to be a very big problem because when you are emotionally pitched up you cannot do things sensibly everybody knows this isn't it so very important well if somebody is dying of old age it's a different matter but a whole lot of people might have come to you because of injury because of some other ailment something fit enough to live but you have to do the right things for them to live so if you are your heart is pumping hard when you see your patient breathing hard then uh, you will definitely do something to kill him <laughs> it's very important that you learn to treat it as professionally as possible this doesn't mean you're nonchalant nonchalant is not the word unperturbed but concerned that you must live you the way you are addressing the question i'm not picking on you the way you are addressing the question is a doctor is supposed to see lots of deaths doctor should see minimum number of deaths on their table <laughs> hello that's a good thing <laughs> here we are at the french room in the league of nations uh, building or what is today united nations here is a old symbol of uh, league of nations lsn league and societe en nation in Fr french my french is terrible as you know <laughs> so here we are this is a historic building in many ways this is the first effort in the world to somehow bring some kind of confluence of all nations on the planet well it was not a full fledged success because the world war 2 came and that's how the united nations came into place all this we must understand our efforts to kind of imitate human consciousness without really becoming conscious but their value is they have avoided and created various situations avoided various situations of conflict and uh, restrained various situations of conflict and also brought conflict resolution to many places well they've not been able to stop every war that has happened but definitely it has been a positive force of at least all human beings attempting to create a platform that could be a solution for the world that's the effort you see here this is coming from human intent good intent but it is an imitation of human consciousness really if inclusiveness is the very basis of spirituality how can we enable communities are especially our young people to grow up with the belief and in of inclusiveness we are inclusive uh, not by choice we are inclusive by the nature of our existence it's only by constant transaction with just about anything and everything that we are existing here the complexity of what makes this creation we are a consequence of that but the magnanimity of creation has given us an individual experience this is a tremendous thing but we have taken this individual experience rather too seriously so seriously that we think we are a world by ourselves each person what can schools do to inculcate ethical living in a joyful way the moment you have lot of ethics your face becomes long we must look at it more fundamentally isn't it 
rather than stopping it with a value that I set for my, no, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do that. See, so please understand this, just try this right now. Shall we try an experiment with your mind? Next thirty seconds, nobody should think of a monkey. <laughs> try, please close your eyes and try. Oh, only monkeys, isn't it? <laughs> this is the nature of your mind. In your mind, if you say, I will not, only that will go on. Why are you making life so difficult? Why do you think you are born wrong and you have to be fixed? No. You call this religion, you call this education, you call this morals, you call this values. For religions and ideologies and philosophies, we have killed more people than for crime, isn't it so? Hello? Mm, absolutely. Mm. So, all these morals, ethics, values, philosophies, ideologies are only an effort to prevent crime. We have been always trying to produce good human beings, which is a terrible mistake. We need more joyful and sensible human beings. This is what yoga is about. When you are joyful, you want to kill somebody? Hello? Only when you are miserable you want to kill somebody, isn't it? Right now, there are so many burnout syndromes, uh, young people uh, losing, you know, their minds, uh, losing their orientation, millennials and the Generation Y. So what is your advice for them? See, this is because they're trying to upgrade their activity without upgrading the machine. Without upgrading the capability of this machine, if you upgrade the activity, you will burn out. It is like you took a streetcar on a Formula One track, it'll burn out. So they want to speed without upgrading the machine. This is all they need to focus on, how to upgrade this life. If you keep on upgrading this life, activity will naturally follow.